Welcome back to my channel. Bro, do you guys know what it's like trying to vlog and film in public knowing that there's a, like people outside watching you and looking at you while you're doing it? So nerve wracking. But if this is gonna be my life, this is something that I need to get used to and just go ahead and start doing it because what? Only God can judge me. But anyways, I'm on my way to go get Alila from school today and I figured why not do a evening like in the life of a mom what it's like for me and my daughter my girlfriend like what is it that we do during our evenings so i'm gonna take you guys along with me to go get a lila i'm gonna let you guys enjoy some like watch me cook dinner for me and my family hang out with us for the evening so before we get into this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel Turn on those post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, and drop a comment down below if you guys want to get shot in my next video. So right now, I'm on my way to go get my daughter from school, and when I get her, I'll come back to the video. So I got Lila from school, and normally when I pick her up from school, as long as it's nice out, we stop at the playground so she could play, so she could get her school energy out or whatever, get her ready for the night to just relax and hang out. So right now, we're at the park, and we usually come to the park, and it's always the same friends that she plays with here every day. It's like the same routine every day. So she's playing at the park, and and then after this, we usually go home and get ready to cook our dinner. So right now, we're just hanging out at the park. How was school today? Was it good? Was it good? Was it good? You got your field trip tomorrow. Are you excited? They got a zip line and thing in the park now. This is her favorite thing to play with when she gets to the park, y'all. <laughs> so now we're back at the house and Alila's outside playing with her hoverboard and me and Christina are chilling in her car because the landlord said we can't use the backyard because it's for the downstairs working professionals that are going to be staying downstairs as if we're not working and professionals. And she also said we cannot sit on the front porch because she doesn't want any traffic going on in front of her house. So we're chilling in her car. What? And I just wanted to show you guys. This is, this is how Christina used to... Um, sleep in her car when we was going through our homeless stuff because you know she couldn't come in the shelter with me because they said we wasn't married and we didn't have the same kid in common so my poor baby had to sleep outside of her car and i just wanted to see what it felt like to sleep in the car so we're just laying back here lounging chilling hey y'all this was right around the time no but you was in the hotel at first i wasn't in the hotel at this time i was already taking my car around this time yeah I was, my so we're just getting a feel for it. Hey guys. Now when Alila's done playing outside with her hoverboard and stuff like that, then we're gonna go inside and go cook. Yo, did y'all notice that the whole video so far, I just been talking about going upstairs and go cooking with my fat ass. <laughs> Show them a trick. <laughs> Stay sitting down. Are you guys ready? Set. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Whoa. Whoa. They can't even pull me back. Okay, guys, so now I'm back in the house. I'm back in the house now and I'm about to start cooking dinner. A lot of outside still with Christina playing and one of the kids that live a couple doors down. So I had these in the sink for like about an hour or two um defrosting and what i'm about to do is i got like a couple of dishes on the counter from earlier from when i did lunch so i gotta wash the dishes first 
take out the um hens, clean them, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna season these. Okay guys, so I'm about to start doing my Cornish hens. I cleaned them in the sink. I took off all the fat or most of it. Looks like I missed some. Okay, so I took off all the fat, cleaned it with vinegar in the sink, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and poke up the breast a little bit just so I can like tenderize the meat and also when I season it, I want the meat inside to get seasoned too. Just like this. Ow, trying to poke myself. I gotta wash my hands. Now this is not a cooking video, so, but I'm just showing y'all how I do this real quick. So I'm gonna take some olive oil, drizzle it on the chickens, just like that, and massage it in there. This is so that the meat could be nice and juicy and tender, and also so the skin could get nice and crispy while it's in the air fryer, because that's what I'm about to put. I'm about to do this. So I'm going to use one hand as a dirty hand and one hand as a clean hand. So now I'm just going to season it. I got some garlic powder, some adobo, not too much of that because that's salt. I'm going to put some parsley. I got to wash my hands one more time. We gotta do some of this rainbow black pepper. Go fly down, and we're gonna do some jerk marinade on here. Jerk seasoning. Go put a little bit on that one, and a little bit on that one. Last time I put too much, and it was too spicy. So. There we go. Jerk seasoning on there. Just like that. And then we're gonna flip them around and do it again to the other side. Right, guys, so the Cornish hens are done being seasoned and um, this is what they look like now that they're all ready to go. Okay guys, so I'm putting them in the air fryer. They both fit in there together. It's at 375 for 20 minutes. A minute went away when I was um, trying to put them in there. So 375 for 20 minutes. Okay, so now it's time to get started on my rice and beans. So let's just get ready to cut up our cilantro and our green scallions that's going inside of my rice and beans. And I'm also gonna wash my rice and get everything ready to go. All right guys, so I'm gonna put my rice in this bowl right here in the sink. We're gonna get it all washed up. one cup of rice for me in a while because Christina's not eating rice tonight she says she's sick of eating rice so the rice and beans is just for me and a while you gotta wash your rice y'all Now I'm gonna cut up some veggies to go inside of my rice and beans. You can use some um, sofrito or ricaito, whatever you want, but because um, I haven't brought a blender yet to make my own sofrito, I'm just gonna cut up the stuff that actually goes in it and just make it work. Got some green scallions. That was cilantro, by the way. Like that top layer. It'll give the rice some good flavor. 
That's what's gonna go on my rice. And I have some frozen peppers in my hand. That's also gonna go on there. That's fine. All right, I'm just gonna cut up the uh, frozen peppers and onions because they're kind of like chunky. And this is what's going in my rice, you guys. I'm doing cabbage, guys, with the food. Period. Poo. Poo poo. Poo poo. Use this smudge and put the rest of that in the fucking the fridge. Okay, guys, so the food is done, and I'm about to show you guys the finished product. So here's the finished product, guys. We got the jerk barbecue Cornish hen. We got the rice and beans, the cabbage. This is my plate, and that's a lot of this plate. Looking extra good. Alright, guys, so it's dinner time. And what me and Alila usually do is we sit at the table. Christina usually sits in her room and eat. Nah, she just likes to sit in the room because she wants to watch TV and eat. And I be doing videos and she's a little like, you know. So she just goes in her room. And me and Alila sit down here. And we say our grace before we eat. Thank you guys for the food. I'm You're going to take your time. Go ahead. Thank you guys for the food. Miss. Say it a little bit more louder so God can hear you. Okay. Thank you, God. No, be be for real. You said not that bad. No, be for real. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for blessing this food for me and me. Amen. Thank you, God, for this food that you have blessed us with. Let it be blessed nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Period. And don't be coming for my baby hair either. I'm about to do her hair as soon as we're done eating. Yeah, because tomorrow we're going to go on a field trip. We're going to the um, art museum and a and, uh, um, art show in the park. Mm-hmm. So. No, Mom, this is how I'm supposed to eat the chicken. Let's rip it off. <coughs> that looks good. She just got done taking a shower, which is why I usually have her do because she goes to the park. And then she plays outside and you're not finna get in my bed with those outside vibes. So I make her take a shower while I'm cooking. Then we sit down and have dinner together. Sometimes Christina comes out here and sometimes she don't. Like if I invited her, I'm pretty sure she would come out here. Christina, you wanna come out here? Christina, wanna come to the table? Okay, so she doesn't want to join us for dinner. If you guys want to join us for dinner and come sit down and have dinner with us, leave a comment down below and let us know you're invited and you could come over because Christina's a booty head. She a booty cheek. She just likes to be in her room and, you know, do her own thing. But whatever. So we're going to eat and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Period. Okay, guys, so we finished our dinner. Um, I was watching TV in the room with Christina for a little bit, and then Christina made us some cinnamon rolls. She done made these shits like three nights in a row now because they're mad freaking good the way she makes them. They're so moist, so freaking like just delicious. Like, bro, we over here messing these things up. Let me show y'all. The cinnamon rolls real quick. Let me show y'all what they look like, baby. One left, guys. This is what it looks like. Y'all can tell how moist. Look at that. That junk is busting. I'm mad, guys, because they only come with five in the can. I feel like, why would you do that? To somebody why would you only put five in a can yeah but most remember you never made them good so it didn't matter to you before now it matters it does and you got to eat them when they're nice and hot like fresh out the oven and it's crazy because i don't like warm baked goods i like myself cold but these warm it represents freshly these is busting 
and Alila been acting crazy over these. What? Um, <laughs> what's in that mug that you have? Ice cold water. These cinnamon rolls is a 10 out of 10. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to end this video here. If you guys like it, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see my morning routine with me and Alila, make sure you guys give us a comment. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. Give me a yellow heart in the comments if you watch the entire video straight through. And I'll see you guys in our next lit video. Till next time, guys. Peace, love, and grace. Bye.